Okay, let's take a look at complex numbers in polar form. If we try to take roots of them, you know, like square roots, cube roots, etc. Before we do that, I want to remind you of de Moivre's theorem here. It tells us how to raise a complex number in polar form here in green to a power n. And so you can see where the n shows up here uh, in the formula. It's very easy actually to see why this is true, and uh, we've done that before. So that's de Moivre's theorem. Now what we need to remember is roots, how to think of roots as exponents. So if I have the nth root of x, that's the same thing as x to the 1 over n. The root goes in the denominator here. Okay? Uh, that, and that makes sense. Root, you know, you think of being at the bottom, so the root goes in the denominator there. So we have to know those two pieces of information before we can expound on de Moivre's theorem to get roots, and so that's what we'll do now. So let's say um, if z is r cosine theta plus i sine theta, this complex number, then what is, what is an um, nth root of z? And let's use a better word than an. Let's use the word one, because we'll see that it has many. Then one of the nth roots of z is, well, that would be z to the one over n, to have an nth root of z. But z is just this complex number here in polar form. So I could take that whole thing and raise it to the one over n power. And finally, applying de Moivre's theorem, I would change all my n's in de Moivre's theorem to 1 over n's. So now I'll have r to the 1 over n times cosine of 1 over n times theta plus i times the sine of 1 over n times theta. And so all I've done is replaced all the n's from de Moivre's theorem above, all the purple pieces, with 1 over n's because I want the roots now. And then if we simplify this, you get r to the 1 over n, or if you prefer, that's the same thing as just the nth root of this real number, r, times the cosine of theta over n, when I multiply 1 over n by theta, I get that, plus i times the sine of theta over n. So this is an nth root of this complex number z, r times cosine theta plus i times the sine of theta. So there we go. Uh, we'll see in another video with containing examples that there are more than one, or there are more than one square roots, there's more than one cube roots, etc. So uh, we'll, we'll look at that later on.